the African savanna in the morning. A cheetah watches the surroundings from a termite mount. She does not miss anything what happens around. She has a special responsibility because she is not alone. Three lively cubs playing next to her with a feeling of well-being. Big herds of animals are crossing the white plains. The knee-high grass plains were grazed by wildebeests and zebras. We are in the Masamara in the east of Africa. Kenya, the country to both sides of the equator in the east of Africa. Since the period of Bernard Grimmick, this area is well known as an animal paradise. The Masai Mara is situated in the south of the country. Together with the southern border Serengeti in Tanzania, it makes up one of the biggest nature reserves of the Black continent. Watchfully the cheetah mother looks for her surroundings. Maybe an enemy is near who was able to treat the cubs. The babies pass the most dangerous time of her life. It is something special that we get the possibility to watch this cheetah family together. A cheetah gets four up to six babies in average. Often only one reaches the age of adult. The others are prey of hyenas and lions. The cheetah mother has to receive food urgent for her and her cubs. Actually it seems that she already discovered something. Nearby a herd of gazelles is grazing placid and unsuspecting. Now it has to be only the right position and the closest practicable contact of the victim for the attack. Cheetahs are with a high physique and the long legs the fastest predators of the world. This speed they were able to hold for only 10 seconds. For this reason, four of five hunting attempts are ending without success, like this one. The cheetah returns to her little family frustrated. 
Also today they didn't have a meal. It's getting dark soon and then the hunting round is getting over to lions, hyenas and leopards. Scenes of hunting with a lot of predators are something special in the Masai Mara too and many viewers are attracted. That doesn't seem to disturb the little cubs. The Thompson gazelle has separated a bit and is going to bring a baby into the world. We don't want to be disturbed. We have to pull back and spend our time by watching two round hornbills. It's touching to see how the mutual take care to the feathers. Twenty minutes later we went back to the gazelle and everything is finished. A healthy cup is lying on the green-brown soil. It's disguised perfectly because of its coat. Now it's to see barely on the right field of the vision. The mother is keeping a distance. Like this, she didn't draw the attention of predators for the upcoming. She got a good chance to go out of an attack because of her speed. Nevertheless, it's important that the cub is going on to his feet. A few minutes after birth, it undertakes the first standing attempt. First with middling success. But it's getting better from time to time. And already it can follow the mother. In the upbringing of the lions, three droll babies are waiting wishful of the return of their mother. They are so hungry. Finally, she returns and gives Willing her milk sources. In contrast to cheetahs and all the other big cats, lions live in a pride. Often there are several mothers related with each other. They are looking after and raising for the upcoming together. Sometimes it is very hard to resist of the playful attacks of the children.
Because the mother doesn't feel like playing, the brother gets a mock attack. Like this, they try out their power and train their bodies. The father is a bit out of the way and don't care about the children. But in a case of dubbed, he gets all his power and his life for the defense of his family. Again, cheetahs came across, this time three young males. They are taking the easy way out under a single tree. They are three brothers who are stick together after separation of their mother. On the tree is sitting a vulture. He seems to say, Don't hang around so lazy, but go your way for a hunt. I would like something to eat too. Actual one of the three treaters gets up. He's waking up his brother lovely. Then they are spending time by coat care of each other. The third cheetah stands up too. Intensive he sniffs the trunk of the tree. Something he dislikes. With a strong urine stream the cheetah leaves his own scent mark. His brother has to be with him too. After such an effort, relaxing is on the agenda again. The vulture has to wait a bit. The lion pride has made a prey. After the male lion has eaten, the others are on their turn. Nothing is now to see of the peaceful living together. Everyone tries to bow down the most. A jackal is watching the guzzling orgy from a safe distance. He would like to get a bit food too and he is watching patiently of his chance. At long last, the lions eat once full and going satisfied on their way. The jackal is happy about the leftovers, but the next interessants are already arrived.
Our guide knows that the lions have to drink now, and sudden he finds a water place next to us. In between the lions make a rest. The tummies are so full. An adult lion is able to demolish up to 20 kilos meat in one meal, but this is enough for the next two days. They lick and huddle each other and like this they strength the social context between the members of the pride. Forgotten is a strain which was rolling while eating. The meal of the lions ends with a drink in the near riverbed. The Masai Mara is located in the east of the large Victoria Sea and also in its catchment area. For this reason it's raining more often than in the southern Borlet areas. The herbivores know that too. Ten thousands of wildebeests and zebras were come from the Serengeti in the time of September till October to enjoy the fresh grass. But now they have to return back. The areas are full grazed and in the near Serengeti it has rained too. They cross the savanna on their way to the south line they were heat by an invisible hand. The biggest animal hike of the world and one of the most impressive spectacles reached in the last years. Approximately the water volume has gone down by 60% since the 17th of the last century. Reasons are the deforest action and the headwaters of the Mara River and the rising water consumption of the native population. If this development is going on, the Mara would be a runner in the dry season within a few years. The effect for the nature and the whole area is not inconceivable. A lot of hippos are living here. They are lying on the water during the day. Because of its sensitive skin they aren't able to endure the strong sun of Africa. The muffled sounds serve the communication and district separation. Until the evening the animals leave the river and start to eat. With a white muzzle they graze the surrounding grass plants. Wow we tights you if you stand in their way. A lot of crocodiles are native in the Mara too. They are able to stay half of a year without food, but their chance is coming soon. Twice a year the Mara gives a unique nature's spectacle. Then the wildebeests and zebras have to cross the river. The 
they are standing undecided and hesitate on the shore. The air is full of dust and the shouts of the countless animals. What's up? As suddenly as the spectacle has begun, it ends. A lot of animals are left behind in the Masai Mara, waiting for the next possibility to cross the river. Again we meet our little cheetah family. As always the upcomings rampage around. Suddenly the mother runs in one direction. Then she stands abrupt. Now we can see the reason for her excitement. The three cheetah brothers are coming straight in her direction. The mother cuts the way bravely. She tried everything possible to defend her cubs. But the clear hiss doesn't seem to interest it the others a bit. Because of that the cheetah mother pulls back carefully. Fortunately, the animals seem to know each other and didn't plot anything bad against the cubs. With a big interest, the intruders swift at the place where the cheetah was lying before. Relieved we can leave the predators. With a lot of unforgettable impressions, we finish our first safari through the Masai Mara. The next trip is already in preparation. If we will meet the cheetah with her cubs again, Again we are on tour in the Masai Mara. 
It's the end of September, the time of the big animal hike. Amazing herds of wild beasts and zebras are assembled here again and prepare their return in the Serengeti. On a termite mound lies a cheetah. Is it the mother of the cubs we've met one year ago? Like this, the upcomings have to be in her surroundings. In fact, two young cheetahs are next to her. They are nearly full grown. Their play impulse and their over enthusiasm the adolescent didn't lose. There is coming the third one. He was hiding behind another termite mount. Really, every cub survived. Finally, the young cheetahs are getting tired. Like this, the cheetah mother comes to a rest. She made the trick to bring three cups up to the threshold to adult. A little positive step in the sensitive ecosystem of the mother Mara. Further efforts have to be necessary to protect this area, this paradise of Africa.